Hello, I'm Rebecca Parr. I'm based near Bristol. My contribution to 66 of Us is taking you through a few quick exercises with your voice. You might in fact recognise my voice from narration of series like Orangutan Jungle School and as the voice of Princess Lavira in the children's television series Power Rangers. Freeing up your voice is essential for effective communication as well as just being really good fun. So, let's start with the basics. The vowel sounds. Let's kick off with an A or A ah in the phonetics version. Open your mouth as wide as you can, almost like you're going to eat a giant apple. Whatever sound you want to make, you want to say it so that you're throwing it at the wall opposite you. Breathe deeply into your core down into your guts. Ah, ah, ah. Now try it with the other vowel sounds. E, I, O, and A. Uh. Just a few seconds of each and see how it goes. E, I, And when it comes to projection, it really does help to be quite specific about where you throw your voice. Pick a point in the wall or a, a little spot just on the wall opposite you and aim to throw directly over to that side. Now we can try a fun thing called a vocal run, up and down, just to explore. Make sure you take a deep breath just so you can get the most out of it. A I O U U O I A Ah <laughs> You can just see what happens. Explore. It's all just about exploring the sounds of the of the letters and the sounds of words. We can also have some fun with consonants. Um, one of the most fun ways to do that is actually with tongue twisters. A couple to try, just to get your whole mouth moving, is... This is very, very good for, uh, for little ones. Red lorry, yellow lorry. 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 You have to speed up and see how fast you can actually get, get there. Another fun one is Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now to try say that one a bit more sped up, as it were. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? I slipped up there myself, but uh, it's all about just having a go and experimenting and finding the joy and, and the, the amusement in it as well. I think the most fun one, and obviously it's a little bit trickier as well than the first two I've done, is actually this one. If you want to give it a go. <laughs> she sat upon a balustus. I'll start again. She sat upon a balustrated balcony, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping and amicably welcoming him in. I'll say that one again. She sat upon a balustrated balcony, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping and amicably welcoming him in. We can try that one again. Sometimes you might have to slow down just, just a little bit, just to really wrap your mouth around the words. She sat upon a balustraded balcony, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping and amicably welcoming him in. <laughs> that one was obviously a bit more difficult than the first couple, but it's more about being aware of where your tongue is placed in your mouth and in wrapping your mouth around the words. Well, that's it from me. If you do want to follow me, you can find me on Instagram at R-E-B-E-C-C-A-L-P-A-R-R -E that's at Rebecca L. Parr on Facebook. And uh, please get involved. 
and contribute a video at 66ofus.uk. Share a skill with the community and we'll all come out of this stronger. Remember, there are 66 million of us and we're all family. <laughs>